everyone. Thanks for being here today. My name's Tammy and I own a small bath and body company here in Greencastle, Indiana. Today I have a special treat for me and for you. <laughs> it's a twofer. <laughs> I received a box from a new company and for you I'm going to be sharing a formula with you. I haven't done that in a long time and I thought it was about darn time I did it again. The formula is going to be a clay mask specifically for oily and acne prone skin. I was approached by a company called Nature Packaged. This is a new company, I'd not heard of them before, and they wanted to send me out some items and then have me share my impressions of these items on my channel. The first thing I did, guys, was go scope out their website because quite honestly, I do get asked at least once or twice a week to uh, partner with somebody. It's kind of cool, but most of them I just like, no. <laughs> no thank you. So Nature Package is a company in Wisconsin that partners directly with farms all over the world to bring products to us. They go right to the source. But they asked me what I would want to highlight. And guys, that's not a hard question to ask somebody. Everything. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I didn't know how much to ask for, how little, what was appropriate. I, I'm new to this, right? So I just sent them back a wish list of items and said, anything that you want to give me in this, this like little list, I could uh, do something with for them and for me. So let's open my box and I will show you what I got from Nature Package, guys. I haven't done this view in so, so long. And then I saw Holly uh, do this uh Missouri River soaps and I thought you know I'm going to try a couple times just to see so we can talk face to face kind of thing but when I get to making I'll bring the camera straight down so this is my box obviously I feel so legit when <laughs> when I get uh offers to do affiliates or or any sort of thing like that but most of what I get is cheap Amazon crap that, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I did say that I wanted something that's like super not expensive. I didn't, I didn't wanna like feel like I was, you know, taking advantage. But I didn't have any of the large grain pink Himalayan salts. So I have this and I'm planning to do uh, some soap with some sprinkles. Uh, sprinkle this on top of some pretty pink soap. So that is what I plan to do with the Him Himalayan salts. And then I just got some essential oils. Now I will say the one downside that I find with Nature Packaged is they go from a 15 ml bottle of essential oil all the way up to two pounds. I mean, there's nothing in between. I need a four, eight, every once in a while, I will order a 16 ounce uh, bottle, but I don't go through essential oils quick enough to purchase a two pound one, but 15, 15 mLs is almost not feasible either. I can get a couple of things out of this, but I did clove. I'm just gonna smell it. Oh, that smells good, actually. That smells really good. I didn't think I liked cloves that much. I like their packaging. Can you see that? And then this is bergamot. Now I did choose the essential oils that I felt like I already use in my products because I'm just not that good at the blending. Ooh, that smells really nice. The bergamot. It And it actually says on here, I don't know if you're too far away, but it says Italy. So it tells you where they're getting it. Um, the clove is from Indonesia. I really like their boxes. And then this one is frankincense. I think I need some frankincense for my tallow. And this is from India. I like their labels. That's sweet. That's frankincense. <laughs> and then guys, I have never used unrefined shea butter. This is from Ghana. The website has a blog that talks about all of their uh, farms and what's special about them. And they have pictures of the farmers. It's really neat. You should definitely check out their website, if nothing else, than to just kind of scope out everything that they do. 
So I took notes on the, on the shea butter. This company is an advocate for fair trade, empowerment of women, environmental protection, and the prevention of child labor. So it's a really good company for us to be supporting. I've never smelled unrefined shea butter, so I'm anxious. Oh, that doesn't smell very strong. I don't know why I was thinking unrefined shea butter would have a really like odorousness to it. <laughs> odorousness? I don't think that's a word. <laughs> all right. I'm not mad at that at all. That is... So my plan for shea butter is I am going to make my first ever emulsified body butter. Never made an emulsified body butter, which is really no different than a lotion or a cream, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's for me to be able to say I've never done it. And then I really like the packaging and I chose a couple different things for them, you know, if they wanted to send me something and they sent their jars. Nothing too crazy, just a little plastic amber jar. I really like that. They have like little dropper bottles as well, and I think the prices on their packaging is quite good. These look to be very clean. I like that they're individually packaged in their, their sleeves so they don't scratch too much. I am gonna take out the six that I think I'm gonna need for our clay mask, and I'm gonna go ahead and get these sprayed down with some 70% alcohol and get those ready to go. And we are gonna put a beautiful clay mask in these beautiful little amber jars. And I think it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna get my counter ready. And when we come back, we're gonna make a clay mask, specifically oily and acne prone. I'll be right back. I love clay masks. I don't do them as often as I think I would like to, but I think my skin feels so good after having that set on my face is just, I really, really love them so much. And I'm, just, I'm fairly new to them in the, just this last year that I, that I actually started using them. Guys, when I first started thinking about doing clay masks, I was just really overwhelmed or unsure of myself on how to formulate one. I felt like I was just so out of my depth. It's really, really easy though. So I would say that around 50 to 60% is gonna be your clay, like your, your base clay, basically. So for an oily to acne prone skin, I'm using bentonite clay. For all skin types, mature or dry or any of the other skin types, I would use a, a kaolin clay. From what I can figure out and from what I've kind of researched, bentonite clay is the most absorbent clay. So it is perfect for an oily skin application. It would not be something you would wanna put in a dry or mature face. So I'm using 55%. So I'm putting 156 grams of bentonite clay in here. No surprise to probably to any of you is the activated charcoal I'm gonna put in next. This is a little over 18% and I am adding 52 grams of this. Activate char charcoal does absorb oils and it also will dry out skin. It absorbs toxins as well. I'm reading some notes because I wanna make sure that I don't make any mistakes. French green clay is soothing. It absorbs impurities. It is detoxifying. It's toning, healing, and good for uh, pore fighting. So we're gonna put French green clay in here at 44 grams. Clays have an incredibly long shelf life, guys. It's something that you can buy and not be worried about having to use up super, super fast. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some turmeric powder. This is high in anti antioxidants. It will help with hyperpigmentation and it will help even out skin tone. So a lot of times, um, when you have acne prone skin, you get redness in your skin. Uh, so this is meant to help kind of even all of that out. Uh, for turmeric, I'm gonna put 15.6 grams. So I'm just gonna go 15 or 16. 16. All right. And lastly, I didn't get it out, is my chamomile extract. Hang on. 
So chamomile extract will help fade scars. It fights acne and it also reduces skin irritation. So this is also getting 15 to 16 grams, about five and a half percent for both these last two ingredients. You don't have to be super exact. That is also 16. It's not gonna make or break. If you don't have one, just add more of the other. They're not near as intimidating as I first thought they were. I'm actually gonna take my spoon here and get you do want to get it mixed up really nicely and incorporated. Activated charcoal can be a little airborne, but these other clays that I'm putting in here is kind of tamping some of that down and keeping that a bit more under control. So I am going to try to get two ounces in here. I don't know if I'll get there, but we'll see. Nope, I worried about that. I'll be doing good to get a, an ounce and a half. That's exactly an ounce and a half. I may try to tamp them down a little bit and get a little bit more in there. So I have a little bit here left. So I'm gonna tap that a little bit and see if I can get this up to like maybe 1.6. 1.6. especially since I can't use this. It's not like I can take this and uh, and take the leftovers and use it myself uh, like I normally would because I don't have oily skin, guys. I have mature. <laughs> All in on the mature skin here. This is also something that you can make in bulk and put it in a clean jar and bottle up when when you get the order in. And then you don't have to uh, have these jars being used on your shelf. Now, I like to have about six on my shelf. I'm going to call 1.6 good. And then I'm going to get my labels made up for these. I will have all of this written down below so you don't have to like write down what I say or, or rewatch anything. Guys, I thought I would go ahead and share with you the making of the mature skin. Uh, this is something I got from Soy and Shea. I am a patron of Keely over there. So I'm not gonna share this recipe with you. I will share the recipe that I myself created. Uh, this one is kale and clay, is the base. Oh, and I forgot to say, I forgot that you're not supposed to use metal with any of this stuff. I don't remember exactly why something about the metal ions can react with the clay and I'm not sure it seems to me like that would only be an issue when it gets wet I don't know so I'm just not going to use metal <laughs> I should probably know that but you know I don't I really can't imagine that it would be a problem but again I don't want to do anything wrong I'm sure you'll let me know <laughs> And I say that in the best possible way. I appreciate you guys letting me know when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add purple Brazilian clay. I do think I had to get this on Amazon. I think I did get this on Amazon, guys. It's so pretty. Can you see it? Look how pretty it is. And again, none of this has to be like super duper exact. That's two grams more than, than it called for. And then blueberry extract powder is the next thing going in here. I really like this stuff. It's just, it's a fun uh, ingredient. And it is, it is a uh, fun label appeal as well. And lastly, I'm gonna add some yogurt powder to it. And that is it, this is done. Super duper easy. So it's very full when they open it. I don't want to make a mess when they open it. I don't want it to be so, so full, but I think that it'll settle over time still. With gravity, it won't look quite so overflowing. Tamp it good. I'm loving these jars, guys. I think they're gonna be really good for a face product. I thought it might be kind of fun to have me do a face mask with you. So I have just cleaned my face. While it's uh, 
doing its thing or cooking, <laughs> we'll talk some more. So I just wanted you to know that you don't have to have any special equipment for this. You don't have to have the fancy brushes or the spatulas or anything. I'm just going to use my fingers and we're going to put a face mask on. This is the calendula one I have. I'm going to use this one just because it was my extra. You can use olive oil or um, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, whatever you have in your cabinet is fine. Or you can just use water. I have decided to use a little bit of aloe juice. I, I ran downstairs and just grabbed a splash or two of aloe juice just because it is a natural humectant and uh, we're getting into the dry season and I want some extra goodness on my skin. So I'm just going to pour, I'm not measuring it, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm using my finger guys and I'm just stirring that in. Start slow and then kind of build up to the liquid that you think you want. You do want it to be somewhat pasty. And I think, I mean, that's really not bad. Can you see? It's, it's not bad. It's a little thick now that it's kind of absorbed, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I just want it to spread easy. Really, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon more is all I added. So you can see this consistency. It's a little wet. It's not super, super thick. And I'm just gonna add it to my face. I didn't bring a mirror, so I'm just gonna use the camera. And I'm just gonna stay away from my eyes. And I'm just going to put it on my face. Rub it in. Get out under your nose. And this takes anywhere from five to maybe seven to 10 minutes, depending on like, I think if I was to use oil, I would have a better time of it lasting a little longer or being on your skin a little bit longer. The thing is you don't want to put this on and then just let it dry for, for you, you know, five to 10 minutes is really all it needs. You don't want it to get real cakey and flaky. You want to take it off before it gets to that point because then it's just pure, it's pulling out too much. And I think I'm good. I can't really see very well in the camera, but I think I'm good. I have a little bowl of water in front of me to wash my hands off. All right, so we're gonna let this sit. And while it's sitting, I'm gonna talk to you. So here is the leftover of my mask. I could have gotten by with about half of what was in this bowl. So maybe just a tablespoon, if that. Probably half a tablespoon would have been plenty. So start small and build up from there so you don't want to waste it. Here is one of my labels. So that's the blueberry one. Because charcoal can be so airborne, I didn't want customers to like open this up and charcoal just go everywhere. So I did go ahead and add a piece of plastic, just clean film. It may not look the most professional, but it is gonna keep them happier, I think, in the long run with that charcoal being so airborne. So there's the charcoal one, if I can get it to focus. So these jars from Nature Packaged fits perfectly in my two by two by two boxes I get from Uline. It's a perfect fit. And I will be able to add a little bit more verbiage on the box than I can on that little jar. Also guys, everybody that orders a, a face mask also gets a card. And this is just um, clay mask info. It has all the info on here. And on the back, it talks about how to use it and different things like that. So that also goes into every order of a face mask. Let's talk really quickly about Nature Packaged, guys. They're new and a little bit untested, but I've been really pleased with everything I've read on their website and I like that they go straight to the farm and I like that there's no middleman and that they know their farmers. They really develop relationships with all of the people that they, they get their products from and that's pretty impressive. I like that a lot. I think it's going to be a good company for us to utilize. The essential oils, I said earlier, and I, I'll say again, I wish they had a four and eight ounce uh, option. But until then, I will utilize other things on their website. But if you are one to use a lot of essential oils and you would buy a two pound bottle of it, I would check them out for sure. 
or if you're one that only buys the 15 ml bottles, maybe check them out too. I'm really hopeful that they will very soon get the four and eight ounce bottles though because those are the ones I usually buy. I'm really excited about the shea butter as well. And I can't wait to get in there and make some uh, emulsified body butter. I can feel this getting dry on my face and it's not quite, quite dry, but I can feel the tightness starting. And I think it's only been about five minutes. It has not been very long. I am going to go ahead and rinse this off. So I do have a little microfiber towel for my face because why not have special towels just for your face. I've got a bowl of warm water. I'm just getting this. I should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> and I'm just going to wipe it off. I love a face mask. I just don't use them as much as I should because I really do enjoy my face after a face mask. So I think I've got most of it off. If I was doing this in my bathroom, I would be rinsing this out a bunch and really making sure I got everything off. I think I'm pretty good. What I will do then is take my micellar water and I will give my face a wipe down with micellar water. And this is just going to take off any of that leftover clay. I don't want any of that left on my skin. Yep, I still have some. So this clay has done what done its job, and I am good to go. And I want all of that off. I'm going to do that one more time with a clean cotton pad. I love my micellar water, guys. Get in the crevices of your nose. Don't let any... Ah, there was some there. Don't let any of that clay find an uh, area to stay in because that might irritate your skin if it's on there too long. All right. Once my micellar water is done, then I'm going to go in with my serum, which I need to make some more. It's just a hyaluronic acid serum I have on my website. Right? And then I'm going to go in with my blue tansy oil that I got from Clivia. Love this stuff too. I, it's called Azure, Azure. I don't know how to say that word, so I just don't, I just call it blue tansy. <laughs> but I love this stuff and I'm almost out, so I'm going to have to be placing an order pretty soon. And finally, I'm going to put in my hyaluronic acid facial cream that I have on my website as well. And this is my clay mask uh, face, I don't know, treatment that I do. And this is how I do it. I put this on my lips. I always put my hyaluronic acid cream on my lips. It feels good. It makes them feel nice and smooth. So there we go. Love it. Guys, something about it. It just feels clean and smooth. So guys, that's it for my face clay mask. I hope you liked it as much as I do. I want to thank Nature Package for sending me the goodie box. And guys, they gave you something too. I have a link for you to use in the description box. That link is an affiliate link. So I appreciate you guys using that link if you're gonna ever purchase from them. It does uh, definitely help me. I'm also gonna have a discount code for you guys. That's WC Bath 15. <laughs> I can't, I keep getting this mixed up. WC Bath 15 saves you 15% on your first order. So guys, I hope you check them out and uh, go look at the blog, read some of that stuff, get, get more familiar with this new company. I think it's going to be a good one. Thank you again for watching my video. I hope you had fun. I had fun. <laughs> and thank you Nature Package. And then I'm off. That's it. So guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.